Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Broadcasting Network for Political Sports coverage of the Institute for International Ignominy's celebrated Tyrants Cup. Yes, indeed. And today we're delighted to bring you our fourth contender interview with none other than George W. Bush. He's a surprise finalist tyrant for me, Rex. He's full of surprises, Tony. So it's over now to his ranch to get it from the horse. Now, I'll win in the Tyrants Cup. I will show that the world must stand up to tyranny. Tyranny cannot be made to prosper. Tyranny must be met with a greater tyranny in order to save those who the tyrants would like to tyrannize from being tyrannized and to tyrannize in turn those who would be tyrants. I'll be honest, Rex, that didn't shed much light on things. Dear yeah, tactical genius, Tony. Next time on the show... Joseph Stalin. The man of steel himself. Not known for his interviews, so this should be fascinating. It certainly will be. From then, it's good night from myself and Tony. Good night. When the door finally opened, she was standing there, a confused expression on her face, as if she wasn't expecting me. Um, who are you? You know who I am. You sent for me. Excuse me, you can't just invite yourself in. You seem to be having trouble writing, Livian. This ain't good, especially with all the pressure on your shoulders. I'm here to help. I'm a genre. Oh my god, you are. You're... That's me. I've been sent here to help you finish your play. That's the kind of thing we do. Riders get stuck, we help them out. So you're going to help me finish my play? Oh, thank okay, god. Okay, okay. Now, you know, i got to get out of here. Things to do. Oh, right. Well, I guess I was a little quick to accept the situation. You're damn right. I'll see you around, kid. Oh, remember, others may come to help you too. So you look out for them, huh? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> others? There's more? should we wait before we do something? Will you let go of this running away bullshit? I know my son. It's been almost two days. Hi, Mr. Kane. Um, is it all right if I go and wait upstairs? Well, he isn't home yet. Oh, I know, but he said he'd meet me here in about half an hour. What's happening? It seems she's meeting William upstairs. anything unusual about their behaviour that night? Well, they were all in their usual high spirits, you know, all the lads. Well, I admit they'd had a few, but there was, there was nothing untoward going on. He left this behind on the bar. 